Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to kind of go through a day in my life as a patient transporter because whenever I was first starting my job, I was always very curious about kind of how the day-to-day -day life was as a transporter. And I think that if you are in nursing school, this is a great way to get your foot in the door at the hospital you want to work at as a nurse. And this is a very easy job that you can do during nursing school to earn some extra money. And it's a lot less stressful than being a CNA, which was what I was doing before I was a transporter. Transporter. CNA is also a really good experience though and I wouldn't take that back but I didn't work at a hospital as a CNA I worked at a skilled nursing facility so it's a little bit different than being in the hospital setting anywho let's start this day off so typically I work a 10 hour shift or 12 hour shift and obviously this is gonna vary per hospital but at my hospital I work per diem so usually like a month before we plan our schedule and I try to put as many days as I can possibly work because they're not gonna give you like every single day that you want to work usually for my hospital they only give us like four shifts per month and then we can try to pick up extra shifts as needed pretty much or like other shifts that we want we can call in and say like hey i'm available if you guys need me please call me blah 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 stuff like that so i always try to put in 12 hour shifts because if i'm gonna be there might as well just be there for the full 12 hours so i start my day by waking up usually around 5 a.m i have to be to the hospital at 6 45 and i only live like 12 minutes away not that far of a commute so i wake up around 5 to give myself plenty of time to get ready and I'm gonna play some clips now of me getting ready in the morning and packing my lunch and doing all that stuff. guys sorry for this atrocious angle i'm trying to get like semi good lighting without being exposed by everyone around me <laughs> i just pulled up to work it is now 6 19 i don't have to clock in until 6 45 so i usually get here a little bit early and i just kind of chill in my car and watch tiktoks and scroll through instagram so that is basically what i'm gonna do now if i'm being real and then i have about a 10 minute walk to the hospital from the parking garage so at about like 6 30 is usually when i go to walk and we get to clock in like up to seven minutes early so usually like right when I get there is like time to clock in so so basically when I arrive to the hospital first thing I do is clock in obviously and then I sign in and get my little rover phone which is where we're gonna receive our calls and then I also get a vocera so I can communicate with the dispatchers and just the rest of the hospital you can call like nurses you can call other transporters basically anyone in the hospital you can call on your vocera I log into the rover and then it'll show like no active assignment basically saying that there's no runs at the moment of patients that need to be picked up so basically what I do is as I kind of just wait around until I get a run. I love this job because there's no like busy work whenever we don't have any runs to do. We're basically just chilling. Back when I was in school, I would study a lot on my downtime. Now I kind of just read or like scroll through TikTok, edit TikToks. And then basically when I get a run, I acknowledge it. And then it'll show like where I'm going to be picking the patient up and where I'm going to be dropping them off at. So say for instance, I have to go down to x-ray to get the patient and then I have to take them up back to the room. So basically Basically, I would go down to x-ray which is on our first floor I would introduce myself to the patient I would say where I'm bringing them and then scan their wristband take them up to their room it's really freaking easy honestly like there's not much to it the hardest part about this job was figuring out the entire layout of the hospital because the hospital is absolutely huge and it was very confusing for me at first but once I got the hang of it, it is a super easy super chill job and I really like it because I get to like talk to my patients on the way and it's just kind of 
fun. I also get to meet the staff and like interact with the nurses. But yeah, sometimes depending on the run, the patient will go by like gurney or wheelchair. Sometimes they go by bed, which requires us to have two transporters. And that's basically the gist of it. I pretty much do that all day for 12 hours. On our 12 hour shifts, we get three 15 minute breaks and then we also get a 30 minute lunch break. And usually on my breaks, I try to read or like go outside and not be on my phone. But sometimes I do definitely just sit there and scroll on TikTok or Instagram for my 15 minutes. On this particular day, I did bring a chicken salad and it was delish. I also bring a ton of snacks because I am walking around so much throughout the day. Like we usually walk like 20 to 30,000 steps in a shift. So I always make sure that I bring plenty of snacks because I like to eat a snack on like every single one of my breaks. I also bring a coffee and a Celsius if I'm working a 12 hour shift because your girl needs the energy, okay? I get tired like midway through the shift. So I definitely need a little pick me up to keep me going. And then once seven o'clock comes around, I get off at 7.15. So usually they stop giving us calls around like seven, which is nice. That way I can clean my phone, clean my Bocera and pretty much get my stuff ready to go home. We can clock out like seven minutes early. So I usually do that and I make my trek back to my car. I just got off work and to my car. Today was actually pretty chill, honestly. Well, I wouldn't say chill, but like we had a lot of like downtime. I think I had like 18 runs and usually on a 12 hour shift, I always have more than 20. So today was a great day and I spent a lot of time reading and also listening to an interview YouTube video because I am preparing for my interview for next week and I really want it to go well because I'm kind of running out of options for nursing jobs. Like if I don't get this job, then I'm gonna have to apply like probably far away from where I live and I don't really wanna do that. Like I kinda wanna stay within the area just cause I feel like it would make it easier and I wanna like be close to my nursing friends and yeah. I just really want to stay in the area. So I'm hoping I get this job. It's also something that I've dreamed of doing for a long time. I don't want to like give too much information, but I'll tell you guys if I get the job, I'll go into more detail, but so that's the tea. I watched a little like YouTube nursing interview and I'll leave it linked down below because it was literally so good. Like I wish I watched this for my previous interview. I didn't really talk about it on the vlog that much, but I already had one nursing interview and it went okay. Like I felt like I did pretty good for like being my first nursing interview, but I unfortunately did not get the job and I was very sad about it because it's like where I really wanted to work. I don't take any work home with me, which is very nice. I just go home and I can just chill and relax. Usually if I'm working a 12 hour shift though, I try to have dinner prep beforehand because I am not about to cook when after I get off of a 12 hour shift. So I come home, heat up some leftovers, sit in front of the TV and hang out with my boyfriend and my dog. She's still a hyper. She's still a hyper girl. You recording my partner? Mm-hmm. The vlog. <laughs> Leftovers for dinner. So the base is quinoa. And then we have Brussels sprouts that are a little burnt. <laughs> Some kale chips and then leftover beef meatballs that I made the other day. I love Brussels sprouts. Okay, we're gonna top it with feta and balsamic glaze. This stuff is so fucking good. Yay! And that's the finished product of the leftovers. Honestly, it tastes better than it looks. Never food dolls. Hey, Squeeze, the secret ingredient. Yum. That is good. The chocolate chips were a nice touch. 
Highly recommend looking into becoming a patient transporter if you are in nursing school. I think it is a great way to get your foot in the door and get some healthcare experience. Yeah, that's basically the gist of my job. Let me know if you guys have any questions. It is pretty simple, but I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.